this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. All right, now we're going to talk about the fun topic of teletransporting anyone um, inside of Photoshop. And this essentially allows you to extract anything from a picture and um, put them somewhere else. So if you have a picture of yourself on the beach, for example, you want to put yourself next to the Eiffel Tower, that's very doable. And we'll see what we can do here with uh, the options that we have. So we're going to open up our two images that we have here, teletransport 1 and teletransport 2. And what we're going to do is take away this uh, little girl with the dog here from the beach and put her in this field of flowers. Now, normally this would be actually quite of a difficult image to um, to do because if we zoom in here, we can see that we have a lot of um, hair on the girl and some hair on the dog here. And this would just be very, very time consuming to do this in many different ways that you can actually, um, you know, mask someone out. And this tool here has been present in Photoshop for quite a long time. It's the extract tool and it allows us to actually remove or extract things from a photo um, and it's just it just works perfectly for this for this tool so what we're gonna do is just go to um, the filter and go to extract it's just right here at the top at extract and uh, the way this works is we'll just zoom in here so we can do a uh, control plus to zoom in and what we want to do the first thing that we can do is um, mark the edges of what you want to retain so this is the highlighter and it's um, normally green by default and uh, we want to have a uh, the brush size here you can adjust it we want to have a brush size that is not too big here so we're just gonna um, manually set this one here to 15 for example and uh, what we want to do is have a brush size that's big enough to uh, capture uh, a bit of what you want to uh, take away which is uh, this area here and a bit of what you want to keep and you want to paint towards the center so you have a bit of both right so as you can see we have a bit of the uh, bit of the sand and a bit of the jeans here and we're just going to continue and paint all the way across getting the sweater getting the hair make sure to select the hair now we're going to go over to the years Okay, now that we're done doing this, we're going to then, um, with the other tool here, the Fill tool, we're just going to click to um, retain the image here. So we've clicked to retain all of the girl, and essentially we're going to throw away the background. So if you, we zoom out here, you can see what we've done. The blue keeps, the green will eva evaluate what you're supposed to be keeping, what you're throwing away, and throw away the background. So we'll click OK. And there we have it. Photoshop has successfully removed um, the background here. And it has um, beautifully maintained, if we just zoom in here a little bit, a bit of the hair on the dog, her hair. It's been done, done a, quite a good job. So now what we want to do is just drag this layer. So we're, with the Move tool, just select and drag onto the next layer. Now I'm just going to make this here um, maximize screen mode here. And now what we're going to do, we have our two layers. I'm just going to move this layer of the girl down here to the bottom. And as you can see, it's done a very, very good job just right off the bat transporting her into this field of flowers here. So that is the extract tool and you can see how quickly we've done this to just be able to just on one off just remove someone from a picture and put them somewhere else. If you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing, rating and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.